Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today Appa is going to make a fish soup and I will also show you how to make sure your fish slices is slippery smooth inside the fish soup. Uh, so I have here uh, one snapper fish head and also some uh, fish slices. <clears throat> uh, of course, it will be best if you can deep fry your fish head, it will taste even nicer. But today I don't feel like deep frying anything. <laughs> so I've just cooked everything together. Uh, then of course you will need to make the broth. Very simple. Uh, we will use uh, chicken stock as uh, base. And I have some uh, hot water here. And I'm going to use cooking appa chicken powder. Let me zoom in. Cooking appa chicken powder. This one you can actually get it from both Singapore and Malaysia Shopee online. 100% uh, um, natural and zero MSG, zero pres preservative. You can create a very aromatic chicken stock within two seconds. Very easy. So what you what you do here is you get one pot of hot water and give it one to two tablespoons of chick, uh, chick, chicken powder then it is done that's how simple it is depending on the amount of your soup you decide whether you want to put in one to two tablespoons uh, teaspoons sorry not tablespoon yeah teaspoon and uh, we will also need some a few pieces of uh, uh, ham choy yeah salted veggie here uh, pickled veggie few pieces of ginger let me focus few pieces of ginger tomato one fresh coriander roots and this is actually the fried fu chu my uh, wife's favorite you can actually add anything inside this fish soup you can add tofu you can add uh, cabbage chinese cabbage totally up to you or mushroom so first thing you need to do here is to marinate the fish we will shower or marinate, give it a little bit of salt few dashes of white pepper you can actually add in a little bit of my uh, chicken powder which is optional it will give you some umami flavor yeah and yes you can use my chicken powder to marinate meat any kind of meat and last but not least something very important to make it slippery smooth which is to add in the cornstarch Okay, start solution. Right, so we have prepped the fish. Put in the chicken stock. I always say, um, always use a stock, uh, use a soup to cook a soup. Then your soup will definitely taste really good. Uh, this is probably not enough. I will probably add a little bit more um, hot water here. You can measure using the bowl, depending how many adults you have at your home. Appa just playing agar agar today. And we can add on all this ingredient here. Ginger, tomato, fresh coriander roots, chi red chili and also um, ham choy, pickled veggie. And you want to bring it to a boil. We will continue after it is boiled for probably about 2-3 minutes. We will come back shortly. The soup has been boiling for the past about three to four minutes. Uh, next thing is we can actually uh, give it a little bit of seasoning. Be careful with the ham choy. Uh, just put uh, two to three small pieces enough. It could be too salty. Yeah? So a little bit of salt here. I'm going to add in a little bit of my premium Vietnamese fish sauce. All the ingredients I use, I will put inside the video description. Um, you can also balance it by putting a little bit of rock sugar uh, up to you whether you want to put or not some people don't like putting sugar into their soup next thing before we add in the fish one very important step which is to tune down the fire to medium low let it simmer not boiling right then this is the time where we can actually put in the fish slices don't boil the fish you let it simmer then you will get a very smooth texture i'm still thinking whether i want to put in the some of the head or not but it should be all right this one should be all right 
Ah, it's okay. Let's just put it in. <laughs> Actually, if you want to cook fish head into soup, it's better. It will taste nicer if you uh, deep fry the fish head. But today, don't feel like frying things. So now you want to use medium low heat to slowly cook through the fish. Uh, it won't take you very long. You look at it, it will slowly turn whitish in color. Probably maximum one minute or one minute plus. Right? We'll come back shortly. I almost forgot, I still have my uh, wife's favorite, the fried fuzhou. This is the steamboat type, so it doesn't need to cook for a long time. You put it in, very fast it gets cooked. You will notice it's uh, simmering right now. It has been simmering for the past about one minute plus. And the fish here, you can definitely see, be very gentle to your soap right now, right? You don't want to break your fish. Look at the fish, how beautiful it is. Look at it, ooh, very, very nice. You can use any kind of fish you have, seriously. And uh, it is almost done. I'm just going to put in a little bit of uh, fried garlic here. And give it a few dashes of white pepper. Done! I'm going to serve. See how simple it is? If you have sun yu, wow, that's even nicer. Right, a very warming and uh, nourishing fish soup with a very slippery smooth fish slices done in about 10 to 15 minutes. Very nice. Do give it a try. I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. If you prefer some more whitish color, very easy, add some milk or add some evaporated milk. <laughs> that will make people think that you actually spend about 10 hours uh, cooking this particular fish. Alright, bye bye!